Ashwin, hi. Thank you so much for being part of this interview with us, Chennai Times. Uh, so, tell me, how has life been? You are right now in Dubai, we hear. Yes. Uh, so, you you went there before the lockdown, or uh, how was? Yes, it? I came here before the I came here before the lockdown. I had some work here. See, I have I was uh, I've uh, been brought up here. I've been here all my life, and uh, we are settled here. My dad and mom are here, so for all good reasons, I got locked down here. Okay. And uh, not uh, stuck there. I had some work. And it was just coincidence that the lockdown had started. Okay. So I've been in Dubai for the past, uh, you know, three months. Okay. Just waiting for the lockdown to get over, and you know, just hoping like everybody else for uh, things to get back to normal and start working. Okay. Till then. Uh, so how are things there now? Uh, here things are. Uh, it looks like it's back to normal, but you know, obviously, the panic is in the air, and uh, people do have uh, that fear factor. There's there's a fear factor everywhere, just like the rest of the world. Okay. But you know, you need the business to keep uh, running, and the government here is actually doing all that is possible to control the situation and uh, give uh, that confidence to um, you know uh, people here. You know, so. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as far as we uh, maintain our safety and uh, be uh, cautious, I think uh, nothing could affect us uh, really as hard as, you know, uh, not being ignorant. And uh, also, Ashwin, the la I think the last uh, few months must have been difficult, different. Um, but you also seem to have aced this treadmill dance thing that has gone viral. So tell me, what was the idea behind it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's mixed, right? I mean, uh, dancing also keeps you fit, and at the same time, you know, doing it on a treadmill is uh, the obvious. But uh, uh, it is not a very new idea. One thing is there are a lot of people who are doing it already, and you know, you search for treadmill dance, and you'll get a thousand, you know, results. And I, I would probably be the tenth or the fiftieth or twentieth. Okay. Uh, but um, I had done something like this. this. Is not new for me. I had done something like this like five to six years ago. Okay. Uh, before my films released and uh, uh, I had done for uh, <clears throat> I think uh, the Hrithik's Bang Bang and uh, Premam uh, movies song uh, Rock and Gutte and the Michael Jackson song and all that uh, but uh, there's one thing where when people think that this is new or this is challenging risky risky obviously yes uh, there is there is always a disclaimer like you know you have to uh, you can't try this all by yourself and if you're not confident and all but um, the bigger challenge for me, uh, personally speaking, is uh, dancing without music. So to elaborate on that, um, now in the camera that I'm uh, talking to now, uh, to, uh, that I'm using now, mm -hmm. I use the same camera on my phone uh, and when you're shooting, when you're recording, uh, you cannot run any other media app uh, in the background such as music or anything else like that except uh, except for if it is tiktok then it goes you know uh, side by side uh, parallelly but um, i recorded this as a video and then uh, i danced without the music and uh, i put the music later before i upload in the edit and it matches but that's a lot so, of work no that's a lot of work because the whole work is about uh, how you memorize the song how how well do you know the beat and the rhythm and uh, um, you know the lyrics uh, most importantly? So uh, people who are actually uh, you know if if they get to see this in person, then probably you know I'll drive them away. <laughs> They'll be scared, or okay. you know I would probably embarrass myself. So I obviously do this uh, whenever I'm alone in the gym and not with anybody else uh, because it's uh, it's a totally unpleasant. Uh, uh, scene when you just uh, see this without music and you feel so weird about it. But when when you put the music, is all where the magic happens. Okay. So yeah, so this is actually my challenge of uh, doing this. But you know, when I started doing it, uh, I thought, why not dance on the treadmill? Because I think for people who like to dance and even dancers, uh, generally speaking, I think. Uh, Dancing when you walk or when you jog is, I think, not a very big deal for the dancers. Uh, having uh, you know a basic uh, beat sense and a music sense, 
So I thought when you know when I was on the treadmill and I would probably casually just make a step or you know do a movement. I thought why not I just record it and just do it as a song. But later is when I realized oh damn I can't uh, uh, put any music and dance for it. So the whole challenge is when I finish recording that video, I and 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 I uh, uh, put the music in it. My action should actually suit the intensity and the pace of the song. and thankfully it matches so basically i have to dance like i'm actually hearing the music and dancing but it's all from within like you know i have to hear it from my mind when i dance but playing the music on the speaker is not an option like on any other speaker i mean you know see when you're all alone in the gym and then you just have your phone with you again even if you have a speaker you need to have another phone you have to play okay. uh, from the same phone you cannot play uh, music and uh, put it on the speaker when you are actually uh, recording on the phone uh there's nothing else that works apart from just the camera okay 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 and uh, so you chosen uh, kamal hasan's uh, anna tarra roti and then the, you done this for vaati coming also so what so how do you choose your songs is it uh, occasion based uh it looks more like an occasion based but uh, it's more of a coincidence now see if out of the blue i do an anna tarra uh that's because of the love for the song and the legend himself and also ile rajas's music and that energy that's there in the song and um the way i mean frankly speaking abur was sort of regarded was like the 89 film uh and uh, this is the first uh, ever kamal sir film experience for me okay uh so uh, and for me i think abur was sort of regarded also is like the one of the most epic films made in the history of indian cinema for the kind of process in the the thought process and the execution that was done in the film and um that man's performance is something that you know uh, you really uh, go out of words so uh, that energy and that liking and that fondness uh, you know for the for the character for the song for the for the energy the performance he has done is something that you know influenced me and uh, that's why i uh, did that and the main reason for doing it is now all the more if it's lockdown uh, you know i just want to and do something and you know when you have to kill the time you rather rather do it uh, in a in a, in a much more uh, you know positive way something that keeps you fit and something that entertains others as well okay. <laughs> so that is that is how anatha arrar happened and uh, in the in the whole past week like i uploaded on up, i uploaded that on one friday which is like the last to last friday and then it was more like a i felt like a film release like you know you release a film on a friday and then you see it for a week long run and then by the end of the next friday you declare it as a hit or something like that you know it just felt like that so uh, during this lockdown you know i thought okay fine why don't we just try it's been 5 years since i've done this so let me just try this and let me go vintage for a change so i did it on uh, one of my most favorite songs right from childhood but when that happened during that week when i saw the reaction like in even a couple of days on twitter because i uploaded first on twitter actually so when i saw the reaction on twitter and the response and the way uh, it started uh, i mean people had downloaded it from twitter and then it started you know getting viral and uh, it was even forwarded to many whatsapp groups and stuff so my family uh, um, you know on the other side was actually getting the videos as a forward my video as a forward saying you know we got this and this is awesome and we're getting it in the company whatsapp groups we're getting it in the family whatsapp groups uh, you know so when that happened i was like really you know getting happy so even before commerce's tweet um i had already done this vaati coming because i wanted to do a talabadi song and it was also a public request if you see the comments below okay. and also the messages and the personal messages uh, from everywhere you know in varied uh, social media platforms uh, i you know and another thing is you know after kamal sir i think uh, talabadi is the only uh, effortless graceful dancer that we can say you know who's known for his dancing <laughs> skills okay. so i think uh, uh, i think uh, his his song definitely needs you know one go and uh, i did that i did and vaati coming obviously is the trending song now so i thought why don't i try something which is you know trending okay. so i did that again so it also depends on my mood and my you know my, my kind of a you know it's, it's just it uh, your state of mind also matters because when you have to succumb to 
you know people's request and you know you, you have to do something in a particular timing and all that then it adds a bit of pressure so probably uh, that kind of a pressure is something that i only undergo in the film shoots you know when i have to do a shot and you know there's a rain and uh, you know uh, we have uh, time constraints so that's the only place where i perform under pressure but when such thing comes you know i think we are doing this all by our own initiative and something by you know uh, our own liking so i thought you know why don't we do something aram se do it but you know sort of don't uh, make it look like you you know put a lot of effort to do something on some day and also i wanted to uh, you know uh, this was my way of expressing gratitude like the way i mentioned in my tweet um, the way i ex- i wanted to express gratitude to each and every uh, one on uh, very social media platforms to have made this a big success and uh, a viral uh, Uh, thing and uh, um and so this is my way of expressing gratitude so i you know uh, in in a lockdown you cannot probably have a grand birthday party mm-hmm. so probably at least have this party instead okay. so i i i i landed up doing this and uh, uh, yeah i mean uh, i didn't expect things to turn out in a Uh, you know I, it blew out of proportion in a positive way uh, by the end of the week and by friday i think my life changed okay uh, finally my idol sort of uh, voicing it out himself so then uh, kamal sir's tweet must have come as a shot in your arm right so that must have been like a wow moment for you and um, i think wow is just uh, too short already it's a very short word okay. <laughs> but uh, Uh, it, it's it's uh, unexplainable is unexplainable because when it comes from somebody of such a stature you know such a, you know uh, he's a legend obviously so uh, he's been my idol and he's been like my ladder like you know for my growth actually his work has influenced me so much his thought process is what captures my mind the max you know the most because his willingness to do something is something that what always uh, that's what always actually captivates me and you know keeps me going because he always does something out of the comfort zone or out of the normal and that is something why he has reinvented himself and why is he, why is he even known as a trend setter so when you have to actually adapt that kind of a thought process i think you also sort of land up uh, doing something different yeah you reinvent yourself you do a rediscover yourself okay. so uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, uh you know one of my main reasons uh, why i could grow as an artist and uh, what is next uh, which song is it on your uh, playlist next i haven't decided like i said like you know now i it's not like something that i'm going on a treadmill spree i okay. must say okay. but you know uh, i i would definitely wanted to uh, you know uh, drop a video on my birthday saying thanks and uh, stuff like that but i have not also uh, you know sort of kept any playlists and stuff like that if at all i get the mood to do something again then uh, first of all let this whole um, you know sensation thing sort of calm down and relax mm-hmm. so that you know uh, maybe even my mind can relax because this is also i can say my first ever time in my career after entering the industry to have got so much of attention probably i wouldn't have i have not got this for any even any film of mine you know mm-hmm. and uh, you know for having done this and being just a mobile video i this was the least i expected so i just want everything to sort of come back to normal again um obviously it's very nice to be in this high but um, yeah having this high for a long time is also not good okay all right okay and uh, what what's happening on the, on the work front so like when do you plan to come back to chennai and Uh, you know continues with shootings i mean that's going to take some uh, time of course there is uh, lockdown here yeah. yeah yeah so i mean uh, definitely this is not in my hands and i'm also waiting for my calls because i was supposed to have a film release a uh, malayalam film uh, called aha uh, which is got uh, uh, indrajit in the main lead and uh, another co star uh, uh, amit uh, chakalakal and uh, me obviously uh, i'm also another lead supporting uh, A character in the film and this is something which i'm really counting on because this has really tested me as an actor in the last uh, five years in the in the, in the films i've done mm-hmm. this is one film which i have literally sort of done something that i've not done before uh, right from you know 
personal life experiences because this film is about based on tug of war in malayalam we call it vadam valley it's it's a very high spirited game that is celebrated throughout kerala and um, uh, i had practiced for this uh, sport for like 20 days before uh, um, the first shoot started and uh, i have i had undergone uh, a transformation uh, a body transformation like you know uh, you don't have to link this to dangal and stuff like that because that is amir khan and that is dangal Mm-hmm. but you know obviously we having inspired from there i uh, uh, i was 73 before i started this transformation then i got into 80 kilos i sort of beefed up a bit for the younger role and i played uh, an older role so me and indrajit also come in old roles so I, we both have played for like maybe the mid 50s or late 50s or mid 50s kind of an age mm-hmm. so there are two eras the two timelines two eras okay. in the film okay. and uh, uh, yeah so uh, there's a lot of things that have done something which you know it was very exciting i've not done uh, the stuff that i've done in this film before so mm-hmm. that was supposed to release by may and for mm-hmm. obvious reasons obviously just like any other film mm-hmm. uh, that has also been postponed uh, and um, uh, i was also supposed to start shooting uh, for another film as well uh, in malayalam okay. uh, with kalida with kalidas jayaram okay and uh, yeah so yeah <clears throat> just waiting for uh, Uh, things to get back to normal just like anybody else uh, hoping for the best uh, but uh, obviously safety first and uh, you know just because of probably our restlessness and frustration i don't think we should uh, um, put the safety uh, behind you know i think we should Absolutely. just probably wait till things are normal so um, let's see uh, hopefully inshallah thank you thank you so much ashwin for your time and uh... please keep entertaining us with such videos and of course safety first so thanks a lot thanks atanya thank you very much for your time bye you're welcome thank you thank so you much. so much bye